Cancer, my amazing, beautiful Cancer. All right, so as I was meditating, this is what popped into my head, okay? Love is on the rise. It's not time to minimize. Stand strong, stand tall. You know who you are. And because who you know who you are, and because of that, you know who you were born to be. Oh, what did I write here? A current love is the is the oh thank you. A current love is diminishing your flames and claims of infidelity, gaslighting, and covert narcissists. Run, run, run away, and be proud that you did because you are stronger on this day for choosing you, us, love, God, and spirit. Right? I, I don't know what guide is coming through that's having me rhyme at all, but I really enjoy it. I think it might be Muhammad Ali or that spirit that worked with Muhammad Ali. Uh, also, earlier I had this channeling of, it was like, thou shall not haste. And I was like, what the, where'd that come from? Some old English. So thank you guys. Thank you. We'll work with that even more. But Cancer, let's get into this right here. Yeah, don't minimize. I think because the past, because this person, uh, you know, you have you have proof and facts that that uh, they they purposely gaslit you. Uh, meaning, if you know what gaslighting means, and you already do, lying, straight up lying. There's a great example, horrible example, but great example of Joey Tribbiani who dated a girl, ghosted her, and then uh, Monica and Chandler started to work with this girl and she was like, and somehow they got on the topic of Joey Tribbiani and they're like, of course it's Joey. I think they were like, she was the financer to a house. So someone's getting a new house or working on finances. But Joey came in and, and totally lied to her and goes, oh, you just made me nervous. And you know, you didn't call me. And, and like, and it was funny cause it's a comedy show. We're all supposed to like Joey. He's straight up fucking gaslit. That's what this person did to you. And they might be really charming. They might be an Italian Joey Tribbiani type person. Um, maybe you all have the same group of friends as well together. But run, run, run. Get away. It was just 2 2 2 on the clock. I think you already have, and I think you're in the mix of it right there. Some of you have been married to them, so you're 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 going through the divorce trial. Some of you have already been divorced from it. Um Yeah, they were they were they were uh they're infidels. Uh they they cheated on you a lot. To this day, something on their phone, and you know what I'm talking about. The proof is on their phone if, and you can see it. I'm, we are not recommending you do anything to go out of your way to try to just let this be a confirmation and know that God's got your back. Remember, you chose love. You chose God. You chose spirit. You chose the galactic beings, all the angels, and everyone around us helping you out. I know it can be difficult at times. I know you'll want to. Listen, I'll speak from experience. As a psychic, being able to channel and know these things and then, then going out of my way and saying it to them and even proving it, it, it's no good. These people will go and get the police and go do everything. They'll say, this is what they've done. This is what they've done, okay? All the things they've been doing to you, they tell the police and tell or some authority something, you did this. And yes, you've done something not great, but you're not a bad person. You ran for a reason. They told them that you did all the stuff that they did. Oh shit, there's an episode of um, Elementary that's popping into my head where it was a sociopath killer. Hopefully it's not that serious, y'all. But he showed up at uh, Sherlock Holmes' uh, apartment and harassed them and things like that and was getting information. And then Sherlock flipped it and did the same thing to him. This guy got a restraining order. Someone got a restraining order, okay? This guy got a restraining order on them. The exact same thing that, that he did, that she did. You guys know what I'm talking about. This is for you. Now, I'm sorry you had to go through this. It's getting better. Not just better, it's getting beautiful, glorious. You're light, you're shine. You're now aware of these kind of people, right? And knowing half the battle. Yo, Joe, yo, Pat, yo, you, all right? Let's jump in here. I'm going to jump into some of my own uh, personally made tarot deck cards here. I'm seeing Leo. Might have been a Leo or your own confidence, right? Your own strength. You let me know in the comments, y'all. Let's shuffle this one more time. Ooh, that's a big sign. We'll tell you right here. 
Yes. I knew that was about to happen. So right off the bat, we have Spider and Capricorn. Might be a Capricorn. I'm getting devil energy. This could be a confirmation that because I'm a Capricorn, but also for you. They might have been a Capricorn. Not all Capricorns are like that, but also devil energy, okay? Which I, I hate to say toxic energy. Spider, okay? Not a bad thing. Next card right here, spider, okay? You saw me shuffle this twice. Check this out. We also have with great powers come great responsibility. Now, you think I planned that? No. I had no clue that I, I didn't even know I drew two spiders, okay? Okay. The third card I'm going to pull here, Leo. And I, I saw that card in there, but you saw me shuffle it. Not a coincidence. I have a plus on this side. So yes, you got pregnant. Uh, someone's getting pregnant or was pregnant. Someone got the abortion with it. Why do you decide to have the baby? And it's just, there's, there's is there a custody battle going? Let me know in the comments, y'all. Um... But Leo is a confirmation, so is Capricorn. But again, with great power comes great responsibility. You have an amazing power, all right? Amazing power. And you're choosing to do the right thing. At first, you didn't. At first, you, 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 you know, a lot like Spider-Man, tried to use the power just to make money or fame or whatever it is you tried to do or get the person. But you learned. Again, you chose love. You chose love. All right, they're Cancer, and you know it. And you take the responsibility for yourself. For young ones too, but not for others. You won't take responsibility for, especially those type of individuals anymore. And you did before. That's what you had to learn, okay? And with the double spider here, okay? Your vibration. It's a, it's, a, it's a totem. That's a guide. You're probably seeing a lot of spiders. Don't kill them. You know, let them go outside. I'm seeing Black Widow, but I think that's more of this past person was trying to Black Widow you, which is an insult to the actual spider Black Widow. Um, I'm seeing a lot of house spiders for you. They're big and they're brown. They have a lot of eyes. Um, don't be scared. They will just walk away. They won't hurt you. And let me know in the comments if you're seeing a lot of spiders. That's a huge confirmation for me as well. Your vibration. You know, to me, Spider-Man in, in tarot, I actually use comic book cards as well, uh, if you've seen is the fool, right? He's a teenager, he's young, he goes out there and he's, just like if you've seen the movie, you know, he grabs uh, uh, Winter Soldier, Sebastian Stan's, you know, metal arm and turns it and goes, whoa, you have a metal arm. And it's just having fun, being himself, that's you, right? You've learned to let go, love. I'm hearing, uh, I heard it earlier too, Elsa, right? Let it go, let it go. It doesn't mean just let it go and ignore it. It's, like surrendering, but not giving up, being in flow, okay? Trusting it. You know you're on the right path, and this, I know this anger is there. I'm not saying ignore it, but, but do what you got to do to work through it, okay? Make a video. I know you want to. That's why you're watching Tarot. You're like, I want to do this. Do it. Just start making the video. Well, what do people say? Well, people are always going to say things. What do you say about it? Other Cancer, what do you say about it? Do it. Do it. Just do it. <laughs> You'll have fun. I promise. I promise. I promise. Great read, especially with the spiders, y'all. You are creating your own web. You are creating your own life, your own vibration, your own energy. And knowing by trusting and surrendering, you just, like a spider making the web, you wait patiently and calm. You're not waiting. You're working. You're doing things. But you trust. You know it's going to work out for you, the best for you. You're attracting. You're no longer chasing, no longer running things down right? Pursuing something and chasing something is very different, right? But you have that web built and you're attracting everything you need. It's all right there for you. 9-11 on the clock, y'all. Yeah. We're going to do it. We're going to do it. I'm going to say future love life, but also I mean sex life. I don't know why I'm whispering it. Let's see what this future bedroom life is for you, huh? Let me shuffle this. Good, good, good. I'm going to do one more. One more shuffle time. All right. Let's see here. First one up. The Seven of Flesh Swords. Yes. Definitely I'm seeing a mixed couple here for you guys. Um, and if not, that's not forever. It also could be energy, but also Asian, 
and Caucasian. Someone's someone might be a redhead, but just maybe not a redhead, but maybe just fiery, maybe just excited. And the sex is really great. I'm gonna have to cover some of this up here, and I'll show this right here. Okay. Now, what you can't see because I'm not allowed to show it here is that her legs are together and they're turned to the side. You guys fit so great together, and his hand is on a breast, so you love that. You love it when your you when your breasts get good for you. But you're looking you're looking in each other's eyes. This is great love, st stable stability, stability, stability. I learned to talk. A lot of confidence, a lot of sunshine, a lot of yellow. Maybe you guys like camping together, go hiking together, pitching a tent together because there's a tent in the background here, huh? You. Someone got a little, get morning wood and just every morning, good, good, have fun. There's a tree in the background here, so it's very phallic, very stable, very rooted. Um, it's not a very old tree. It's not as, uh, it may not be as big as you normally like or as, and that's okay. Hey, as long as you work it right here. And your confidence is great, by the way, because her legs are over to the side and you do different positions. Something, it feels so different. And, that's the thing, you, you're in positions that just feel great in life, but also in the bedroom. And, and they hit it at such a different angle. Women and women as well. Also men, men watching. And you fit perfectly together. You do things too together that are just so different, so new, so fresh, loving. Seven is a very spiritual number. Please look that up. The angel number seven. Let's put that in the comments for me, y'all. Getting the three of flesh swords. A lot of masculine energy here. Right? Again, I have to cover it up. But look. So, what happened? Something cloudy. Something on a cloudy day. It was just 12, 12 on the clock. No matter how bad your days are, no matter what, you two are gonna to be together. And it's also a different couple. Now, this is the same uh, uh, race couple. Again, we're all the same. I don't, I don't, I like all the flavors. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying, you. Something about the sex, it, it may be something, an argument or, or a storm. There's a storm, right? But together, even the sex is still like heavenly because you're still in the clouds. Together, you like face the storm together. And it's passionate and amazing. Also look up the angel number three for me. Now her legs are crossed and he's straddling on top of her. So that's a completely different move. You know what I'm getting with this? And I'm getting maybe more women, like you're just, you're not feeling it that day. You're something, something, oh, something's not right. Something didn't happen. Your day didn't go well. The legs to me cross is like, no, not in, in a forceful way at all, but the legs cross is no, but he, he's so gentle and loving. Women, women, men, men as well. And again, more cupping the breast. You love that. And it just melts you and it melts you. you know what I'm getting here too? He's massaging you, or you're getting a massage, and it eases the storm. But you're not afraid to face the storm together, y'all. Whatever, whatever the situation is like that in life, the two of you are really, I think you're a tight unit here. Tight unit. I mean, could this get any better for you all? Any better at all? And I have to cover this in a way. The lovers, the lovers. Look at this, the sun shining bright, right? Together, facing one another. Now for some of y'all, you're gonna go through a couple different lovers and you're gonna find that one that is the lover. And, and okay, you're playing the field. Some of you are not completely honest, you're being a player, but a lot of you are being honest. And, and, and everybody seems to be okay with it, so that's great. But you're, for those that are with that person, your lovers, you've gone through the storm together, facing one another. And it's the same size tree. It's the same size tree. So 
meaning it's new and fresh still. Now, if it was a longer, bigger tree, mm -hmm. yes, that, but also that means it's an older tree. That means those roots are even more stable, right? So, but, the, but it's very stable. These lovers that love energy, shining bright, really amazing, really amazing. Um, I want to pull some of the mana er, erotic cards. Ooh, just like maybe two. Just want to see a little bit deeper into this sex life, love life, bedroom life. Right? Yeah. What's that? Like, my guides were just telling me yes here because I, sometimes I'll go to shuffle these and I'll put them in complete different order. So I like to check and make sure they're all in the same, uh, the same flow. You know what I'm saying? And so I was checking and they said yes. Saying yes to you as well. You are in flow. That past is the past, y'all. Uh, the, the energy will linger and it's not lingering uh, and you feel like you're you're not reminiscing. That's not the word I want to say, but it, it pops in your head because there's still things for you to learn from that. Uh, so it won't happen again, right? You're in like CSI mode. You're in psychic CSI mode over here, right? You're the detective doing that work, figuring out Sherlock style. The game's afoot, right? Which you could easily be a knave, which is usually a bad you know, person there, but you're not. You are choosing to love. You're going to have a moment though when it brings you back over, right? And you're like, you mother, mm, right? But you're going to step back and be calm and cool. And I just noticed too that the lover's card popped uh, under the Leo card and the plus sign making a baby. Maybe you're making a baby. Ooh, congrats. So I know the Leo is usually the strength card, but it's the sunshine. Leos are also, you know, the sun shining bright. Nice. And strength as well. So let's pull this here. So we have the 10 of air. So you might want to watch uh, my Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius readings here. Interesting. I can show this. I'm seeing a Cinderella type of story here. If you can't tell, this woman, her leg, she's on a flying sled or a flying uh, balloon of some kind, maybe a Zeppelin, but she loses a shoe. And the guy down here has the shoe, who also has a white coat on. So you might be, they might be a doctor or a scientist. Let me know in the comments, y'all. And he's holding, it looks like a glass slipper too. And he's looking up and, and she's flying away. Rags the riches as well, y'all. Not just in love and the energy, but I mean financially as well. They might be extremely wealthy. Again, a doctor of some kind. Or you're extremely wealthy. Or someone's about to win the lottery. And I mean that in many different ways. 1818 on the clock. Look that up for me, y'all. You also have a great view outside a window. Some of you are in a very metropolis uh, type city. I'm getting Paris. If you're from Paris, let me know. For some of you, that's also kind of a swinger talk to. The Eiffel Tower is, well, I don't think I knew to explain that. So why, is they, why are they leaving? But I'm, I'm getting the Cinderella story. Like, but you didn't leave something behind like a number or try to run away or anything. I'm literally getting a rags to riches. Also, I'm getting like your spirit guides. There you go. Not just that. This isn't exactly Cinderella. This is an erotic thing, y'all. This is a sex thing. Uh, maybe it's a game you all play as well. Do you a role play and dress up like that? I'm getting something royal, something... Again, Cinderella-like. Okay, someone is also looking for that their Cinderella and vice versa. The shoe's going to fit. Know that right now. The shoe's going to fit. Interesting. I'm not getting a lot of... Ooh. Two of Earth. I can show this one too. That's great. 
right in here, okay? Ladies, you are very forward. You know what you want. Um, the guy plays a bit shy or innocent or maybe is a bit new, but you're not. I love that you also have a hat on, which is very different, which also to me is means you're very connected, divine-wise. You're very open, spiritually, sexually. Some of you like doing things in public. Always be careful with that, by the way. And whoever is scared, don't you don't have to be. You're well-dressed, too. You wear suits. You're doing well. It's just new, okay? It's just new. Not really scary. It's just new. <laughs> Seven of air. Again, I'm getting ladies of that feminine energy. You're very um, voyeur or, or experienced or experimental. You're very brave as well. You know what you like. Hold on. I have to cover this up and show you. So that right there. So she's out on the beach next to a, a, like a river. It could be an ocean, but there's a city across the way. Again, something about a very metropolis area. And if you're not, that's okay. Maybe you're moving to the metropolis area. Maybe you're taking a vacation there as well. But the water is very healing. But you're not scared. You show you have a great body, great ass. And your spirit guides are with you. These are shadows. It's not your shadow self. Some of us are shadow-like looking, but it's really just, not just a heavier energy, but what? Like an earth energy. Not lust either. You're fun. There's a big difference between lust and a healthy sexual relations. You know the difference. I don't have to, uh, <laughs> I just I have big time. I don't have to explain that. You know, I lied. I was going to make that the last card, but, uh, I want to look at some of these believe in your own own magic oracle cards. Ooh, let's do this. I'm gonna shuffle it one more time. Ooh, and I'm feeling energy on the top of my head. Like um, not a pressure per se, but like I call it an energy drill. Like pushing down, like spinning on top of my head. That's that hat as well. The, the hat, think of it like, I call it like a, a, a spaceship on your head, right? Your vortex, your, your Maricaba, and it spins. I know the Maricaba, I usually see something like that out there, but it spins and goes up. Mirror, treat your body like the palace it is. Damn right. You're beautiful. You're bold. You're sexy. Look at this. Look at this. Maybe some of you are a little bigger. Good for you. Who doesn't like curves? You know what I'm saying. Someone also did a great workout. You've lost a lot of weight. Uh, you got really trimmed, really fit. Congrats. But no, you were always beautiful. You were always this beautiful soul. You did. You got healthier as well. Great. But you listen to the, the music of life too, and you just go through it. No, I love too. You look in the mirror. Many of you do mirror exercises, but you look in the mirror and you see yourself as you truly are. You know, you, like in the future, yourself. You did like a spell with yourself too, in a, in a great way. And dancing. Someone's a dancer. Let me know in the comments, y'all. You're getting all the messages because we have white doves flying all around, which is funny. Out of all the time I've used these cards, I've never really seen that. Uh, we have a castle in the background here, which again, I'm going to take that as more of a sexual thing because all the uh, towers, not towers like that, everything falling down. That's a way to look at it, but no. If so, look how far off in the background it is. Right? I'm thinking they're very phallic. And dancing and sexy. Some of you are witches. And you know your magic. Let me know in the comments, y'all. Thank you, thank you. All your sparkles and spirit guides are all around you. All the little stars whispering. You know it. More water, more ocean. Someone's next to the water or going to the water. And I was thinking this is a background, but it's not. You're walking, think of this. You're walking and dancing into this picture, right? Into it. That's your future right there. Bright, brilliant, sexy, 
Mm, get it, girl. Get it. Card number 22, master number. Library. Take control of your own narrative. Let me see this right here. Okay. Now, this is throwing back to that, that narcissist, that person. They were trying to uh, mari marionette puppet you. Okay. Not anymore. I think right what's happening now is you're learning about it. You, this is really kind of a big surprise to a lot of y'all that, holy sh humans really, yeah. Unfortunately, we have so much insecurity, shame, fear. Uh, I think maybe some of us, this 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 body we're in is like a um, sponge of emotion, right? But know thyself. And again, you're cutting these strings. Again, look at the sparkles around you. It's your spirit guides. A lot of you are reading books too. I think that's how you've learned a lot about this. Again, the witches thing is coming up. You're learning spells. You're just learning magic, spirituality, um, meditation, tantra, things like that. And with more that you learn, the more these strings are getting cut. And sometimes that feels like, um, uh, well, it's your vortex, yeah, but it feels like an ego death, and it is a little bit, but you're also ascending. You gotta, you gotta cut some of the weight off, right? Some of the weight. I had a dream once where it was uh, galactic beings were all wearing hats, if I remember, and we looked reptilian. Could be Orion, could be a lot of things, but also the royal dinos, if, if you know what those are, I'm not gonna jump too much into it. Beautiful, beautiful beings, right? And they've had me in a ship that looked like an X-wing and we flew on this beach. It was awesome. And then I was in this movie theater, like I was in a mall-like area, uh, which usually means a social area with these beings, because I'm one of them. Uh, we all are. We're all connected. And on the screen, it was a movie, but I think it was my life. And I kept talking and talking. And I kept seeing they were like, shh, shh, because I needed to meditate. At that time, meditate a bit more. But then there, they had like these knives and they were like scraping things off me, right? And it was this weight. And that's how I was ascending. We were helping me do it. At times, it was a scary dream, but really sitting and meditating on it now, I see you helping me big time. Let's pull one more here. I love this. Mermaids, exactly. Voyage. You already have all the answers. You do. Meditate. Go within. Right? Someone's Native American as well, which I like saying Aboriginal. Let me know in the comments, y'all. Or you've had a past life or present life or future life, and you know that. We have a mermaid's tale back here, which... Look up the spiritual meaning of mermaid for me and put it in the comments, y'all. I heard before this reading started a little bit ago, mermaids, really loud. The shooting stars. Look at all this that you're missing by looking at the map. You know what I'm seeing here, too, is like we use our phones for the GPS and we're looking at, where am I going? Where am I going? Where if you just whew, really listen to yourself, try it. You will get exactly where you need to be. You'll be drawn to the signs you need. I've done it many times now. Like I've done it too where I have to go to the bathroom and pee and I'm like, oh, I can't find a place, especially if I'm in a city and I'm like, I need a parking spot. And literally I hear where to turn and boom, a parking spot, not only a parking spot, but usually my left ear is ringing now, a parking spot in front of some kind of pub, which I can use the bathroom. Yay. And I probably should have talked to some of the waitress there, but you know, I had to pee. Ladies, it isn't that we don't want to talk to you sometimes. Sometimes we just have to pee, okay? That's for someone right there. So you already have all the answers. You're on the voyage. You're on the boat. Your ships are coming in. You're on the ship. Know it. They're already here. It's already here for you. All right there, Cancer. Thank you, thank you, thank you, guys. I love you, I love you, love you. Please like, share, and su uh, subscribe. Let's do that again. Please like, share, and subscribe. Till next time. Check you later.